All right, this one's from Gavin. He says, uh, what are the benefits of glutamine and do you rate it? I have read online that it is the most abundant amino acid in the body, but what does that even mean? Why would I need it if it's the most abundant? Honestly, it all gets too confusing. Any help would be appreciated. Thanks. And we're going to throw this right over to you. <laughs> to me? Yes. Why to me? Because you're the master on glutamine. Because I'm a geek. Mm. Yeah. So you want, you want a science explanation, do you? Yeah. I think that's like, what's his question again? Uh, well, he basically wants to know what is glutamine and do we mm. rate it? And that he's confused himself. Mm. Um well, me personally, I rate it. Yeah, you, you use it all the time. Yeah, you? I used it. And it really helped me with um, my muscle recovery when I was competing. Back in my competing days, I mm. used that. Mm. Like, maybe. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, he wrote here. I used to eat it off the teaspoon. Do you remember I remember that? that. Yeah, yeah. Carly used to literally just throw glutamine in by the scoop, like treating mm. it as a, as a treat. Because um, it comes in flavors, doesn't it? You can get flavoured. I mean, these days I push more towards the pharmaceutical grade, boring, boring, like plain unflavoured one. powders. Mm. I mean, those are the best. But um, they, you can get you can get strawberry flavoured glutamine, you get chocolate flavoured glutamine. Mm. I see it, the chocolate one. I mean, here he says, there's this one line in his message where he says, I've read online that it's the most abundant amino acid in the body. Mm. But what does that even mean? Why would I need it if it's the most abundant? So that's a that's a good point, Gavin, that you raised because... Why would you need something if it's so abundant in the human body? Why would you need to buy it as a supplement and take extra? It doesn't make any sense. But mm. what that statement actually means, what you would have read was glutamine's found like almost everywhere, right? It's found in our brain. Um, it's a precursor to the neurotransmitter glutamate. Um, glutamate, funnily enough, if you don't have enough glutamate in your brain, that's what creates anxiety. It actually is one of the main reasons for genetic alcohol addiction. Mm. It's not enough glutamate. A neurotransmitter it's found in the intestines in your intestinal tract it helps reduce inflammation um where else is it found uh, i think the kidneys use some glutamine as well um oh and obviously in in the muscles muscle repair yeah, yeah. glutamine is a non-essential amino acid mm -hmm. so what that means is gavin your liver makes it yes. every day so going back to your second point where you said why would i need it if it's everywhere in the body is because it's a non-essential amino acid, yes, your liver does make it. But you know when, when we were at uni, we were learning about the amino acids mm. and we were learning about the conditionally essentials. Yes. Right? So those are the ones that through stressful or traumatic times, the body will lose the conditionally essential amino acids. Mm. So glutamine is one of those conditionally essential. So yes, your liver can make it. Yes, it's found in the brain. It's found in the gut. It's found in the muscle tissue. But... When you go through st stress or trauma, so this means external stress, this means trauma such as you know exercise, weight training, resistance training, damage to tissue in the body, mm. your body starts to drop its glutamine mm. levels. Um, the intracellular glutamine content in your body, that's you know the, the glutamine inside the cell, drops by uh, 50%. And the uh, extracellular, or the, the glutamine found in your bloodstream outside the cell, um, that drops by 30% after exercise. So mm. if you look at something like glutamine, the role it plays in the For muscle recovery. tissue, yep, it helps recover the muscle tissue, it hydrates the muscle, it stops the body from breaking down muscle as energy. That's mm. why Kylie was using it. That's why you yeah. used it pre-comp because Kylie was coming into a bodybuilding comp I wanted to preserve all the muscle preserve that I muscle because she was doing so much cardio. Mm. So, and it also really helped me, um, I remember, with my anxiety leading up to comp as well. Yes, that'll be to do with the um, the glutamate neurotransmitter, yep, mm. the one I was talking about before. Kylie's right, you know, when you're coming up to competition, you're anxious, you're nervous. Um, you know, anyone, like in my family, addiction runs heavily in our, in our family. Mm. The higher the glutamate levels are in your brain, the less likely you are to fall into those deep, dark holes of... Mm anxiety, addiction, etc. So uh, glutamine, yes, it comes in handy. Yes, the body does make it, but through stress and trauma, the body becomes depleted. So that's why you should not only be having glutamine as a supplement, but also incorporating foods. Mm. Or any foods that you would suggest? Um, grass, uh, what is it? Grass, grass fed, fed beef. beef. Yep. Grass uh, fed almonds, beef. spirulina. Spirulina. Um, um, Eggs. Eggs. Um, and then we get ours from tofu. Yeah, tofu. Tofu's really high in glutamine. So, um, sorry, I forgot the guy's name here. Fella. Uh, Gavin. Sorry, Gavin. Um, try to incorporate some of those foods that Kylie mentioned. 
um, grass-fed beef, eggs, tofu, almonds, spirulina. A glutamine supplement, I would recommend a pharmaceutical grade glutamine supplement, something that is, you know, if you're going to do a five gram scoop, it should be five grams glutamine. Mm, and also certified. Yes, certified organic. Um, my, our favorite one to use is um, Nalabs that's available from our website, Nalabs pharmaceutical grade glutamine. Um, that is 100% glutamine, mm. no additives, no flavors, no fillers, no colors, etc. Um, Redcon one do a great glutamine as well. I'm currently using that one. Kali is too. Yeah, I love that one. Um, both of those are unflavored. You can add it to a smoothie. You can add it to your protein shake. Uh, or you can just mix it up in water and scull it back. That's what so, I do. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you're enjoying the content that we've been putting out, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel as every single subscriber really helps us out in a major way. Thanks so much for all the support so far, and we'll see you guys on the next video.